Okay, hello everyone, this is Hanami Salis and today I will be explaining with you the basics about the game badminton. So for the facilities and equipment used in badminton, we have the rocket, the shuttlecock, the net, and the court. So for the common strokes in badminton, we have the forehand overhead stroke. So you must have your rocket up with the other arm in front and take the shot, and the rocket should follow through the side. So this is how you do the forehand overhead stroke. Next, we have the backhand overhead stroke. This time, you need to use the backhand grip. Start with your elbow pointing upward and then you can take a shot. Next, we have the forehand underhand stroke. This time, you need to use the forehand grip. Place your hand with a rocket forward and take a shot as you snap the wrist upward. So this is how you do the forehand underhand stroke. Next is the backhand underhand stroke. This time you need to use the backhand grip. Start with your rocket in front and make sure the rocket is facing forward and then take a shot. So next we have the basic rules and regulations of the game. We have to start in the scoring system. A badminton match consists of three games and the person or team who scores best out of these three games wins. So the same rules of scoring apply for both singles and doubles. In 2020, the side which gains a point lead first wins the game. It is important to highlight that there are also different rules or regulations depending on if you are playing singles or doubles. So for the singles, to start the game, one player must toss the shuttle cup. So if the shuttle lands in the opposite area, it is called the wrong court and the other player scores a point. For the doubles, to start the game, one player must toss the shuttle cup again. So when serving player A scores, he switches sides with player B depending on what his or her scores is. So it is important to note that badminton rules and regulations are so many, so it is important to learn as much as possible about the game. Whether you are playing it as a hobby or a professional, you will find that the rules are an important facet of the game that you need to know how to play it correctly and competitively so that would be all and thank you